Megan coached me because I'm obsessed with her music videos and have watched all of them numerous times and seen her live several times. Um, so that's all the coaching she gave me was just by by example. And then just initial. Boom, boom, boom. Good. And initials up here. Well, the the character was scripted as a beautiful celebrity who we would never in a billion years believe would date Dennis Bukowski. Take a lap, Dennis. There's a hot chick over there. I'm gonna go talk to it. We just knew, you know, for the purposes of the story that we needed to have a very famous, successful uh, and beautiful female celebrity for this story to work. And, uh, and you know, we went through a lot of different possibilities, names, you know, um, what type of celebrity should it be? You know, should it be an actor? Should it be you know, a musician? Like, what kind of person should this be? Should it just be a person who's famous for being famous, you know? And it was actually Jamila Jamil who said, you know, I've worked with Megan, do you want me to call her? And we were all like, absolutely, she's perfect. That is such a terrible match, her and Dennis. It works great. I can't talk to a 10 about embarrassing man stuff. She could be my next fiance. We were all such huge fans. You know, we never even imagined that would be within the realm of possibility. And especially for Tatiana, who is the biggest Megan Thee Stallion fan. I have never seen her as nervous as she was when she got to meet Megan and twerk with her. Um, yeah, it was it was us doing it on the day. I'm in the mocap suit and I've got a helmet on my head and <laughs> I'm on this platform and I'm next to like one of my absolute favorite rappers on the planet. So it was just like, it was so surreal. I think it's the best scene in, in the MCU. <laughs>